Afternoon everyone, thank you uh, very much for coming. Uh, I can just introduce the panel, please be seated. Uh, to my near left is the chairman and owner, John Radford, and to the right, the new manager of Mansfield Town, uh, Adam Murray. We'll be uh, taking questions from the floor, firstly, and then there'll be an opportunity for short one-on-one, so, so to you. First of all, can I congratulate Adam Murray for being the new manager of Mansfield Town. The interviews were harsh and uh, you know, it was quite a high standard of applicants. Uh, Adam put his hat into the, into the ring back to the last, uh, the final hour, and it was hard to see for him to make. Um, but after interviewing him, it was a new, unanimous decision by the board that Adam Murray should be the new Maxwell Town Manager. And we do feel his loyalty and service to the club, he deserves this opportunity. So, well done, Adam. It's time. Thank you. Thank you. Adam, you must be delighted that you've been given this opportunity to take this on a, on a full-time basis. Yeah, 100%. I think um, today is one of my proudest moments in my career. It, it took a lot of thinking and um, deliberating to, to come to the decision that I did. Um, and the overriding feeling that I had that this was the right time and the right moment for, for me to make this step. What was the, the thing that made you believe that you could do it? Um, I think I've got a, a good belief and confidence in my own ability. Um, I've got a group of players here that are, are behind me and have bought into the, um, the ideas that we put forward. Um, and like I say, I've had a, a successful career playing and it's, it's just the right time for me and I feel it's the right time and the right place to take this step. Will you be a, a player manager or just a manager? At the minute I'm going to concentrate on managing. Um, as I've found over the last two weeks, it's, a, it's an intense business that I've I've not had the time to, to kind of focus on the football playing side of it, so my focus will be on managing um, and we'll see how that goes. What do you say to those who probably said that they wished that there was someone with more experience that was coming in, more managerial experience, what do you say to those fans? Well, I think first and foremost, I think I've been given the, the role and the job on, on my ability. Um, I've had 17 years as a professional player, I've amassed over 500 appearances and managed to get five promotions. Over them years I have made um, a number of friends and a number of contacts in the game from um, the kind of bottom of the pyramid all the way to the top. So I've got people that um, have gave me great information over my career, people that I can um, lean on if needs be. But like I say, I'm my own man, um, I've got my own ideas and I, I'm looking to take this place forward. What's happening with your backroom staff? It's going to stay as it is. Um, I think in, in Mickey Moore I've got one of the uh, best coaches around at the minute. Um, I think people in football know how good Mickey is and what he brings to the training ground. And in Richard Cooper, I've got someone that I know is loyal, um, he's hard working, and, and he's on a, a journey as well, and I'm happy with that. The, the players seem to be backing you. Uh, Ryan Tavasoli said in his interview yesterday it would be a backward step if you were to point it, so it's clear that you do have the squad on your side. Yeah, that was a big factor in me making this decision. Um, obviously, being part of a group as a player, um, I understand them and they understand me. And the big thing for me was the reaction that I got from them. I think people have seen over the last two weeks that um, the way I look at the game and the way I want my team to play, the boys have bought into that. And moving forward, that will be a, a massive thing for me. John, uh, you've talked about the interviews this week. And there were the, the range of interviews you had. You must have had some very big candidates uh, standing alongside Alan Murray. Yeah, there's a, a lot of candidates that uh, you know, had a lot of experience and a wealth of experience in managing. But, uh, we felt as a board that uh, Adam um, is going to be a good manager, an excellent manager, and you know I, I think the club will uh, it'll be an honour to have him as a manager. And I think not only will he take this club as far as it can go, he will probably go beyond this club. And uh, you know I think his manager, manager um, management career is going to be good, if not better, than his, his playing career. So uh, I think you know as far as we're concerned. You know, he's the right choice for Maxwell Town Football Club. Uh, the same question I asked uh, Adam was about the, the lack of managerial experience. That's obviously something that you're not too bothered about with Adam. Is a question for me? Or yeah, yeah. No, uh, same as Adam says, he's, uh, you know, he's had 17 years um, experience as a professional footballer. He's had experience with the managers. He's got plenty of people. You know, we look for, for who he's going to speak to and you know, the contacts that he's got. And he wasn't far behind some of the candidates that had lots of manager experience. And the, the enthusiasm is, is for us, he's the right age, and this is the time that I think 
you know, the, the club would give it out in a disservice if you didn't take a chance on it. You know, for the, for the time that he spent with this club and the loyalty he's given to this club, I think now is the time for us to get a little bit back to Adam and uh, see that one of our own can become a good and excellent manager. So I'm, I'm really proud that he's, he's made the decision and, and come on board. Yeah, finally, Adam, just my final question for you. You've been interlinked, haven't you? Your career has interweaved with uh, Mansfield Town over the last 12, 14 years. This just seemed like the next logical step, didn't it? Yeah, 100%. I think it's everybody knows my uh, my relationship with the fans that I have here and the, the commitment that I've had to the club. Um, I think it is a great club and I've got a great passion for it, but at the same time I'm not naive enough to, to believe that's going to be enough to make me a successful manager. Um, I like to think that over the years I've amassed a lot of knowledge, um, I've learnt a lot and I think the ideas and the way I want to take things forward can be successful. Thanks, Adam. Welcome on board. Cheers. Any more guys? A final opportunity for the written press. Hi, I'm Matt Mackin from CBJ News. Adam, obviously, um, the work starts tomorrow. You've got your second round FA Cup match against the Cambridge United. Nice. Do you think any of the like, you know, speculation about managerial roles going to affect the players, or is it just business as normal on the training ground? Well, as far as uh, we're concerned, we've had two weeks now where we've, we've gotten with the job as individuals, as units, and as a team. We've we focused on every game as it's, as it's come along, and tomorrow will be no different. Um, we've got a big FA Cup tie, and we'll be looking to go there and get a result. What can we expect from your team? Um, I understand I've just walked into a business that's probably one of the most uh, ruthless in the world. Um, I also know that it's one of the biggest entertainment businesses in the world. I want my team to um, excite people, uh, to play good football but at the same time play with a discipline and intelligence that's going to be effective. Any more guys? Okay, uh, thank you for that. We'll go outside now with the broadcast media and do some uh, short one-on-ones. If you'd like to follow me pitch side, we'll go out there. <laughs>